session on ANSYS Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the SNAP ring for structural and thermal coupled analysis. We will first analyze the SNAP ring using structural analysis and then we will analyze the SNAP ring using thermal analysis. We are going to do a combined analysis on the SNAP ring. So we will first start with static structural. I'll go to engineering data and insert a new material that is carbon steel. This is AISI 1070 carbon steel. We are going to first allocate the density of this material. I am referring this website for the data. I will link the website for your reference. Density that you can see here is 7.7 .7 to 8.03 gram per centimeter cube. I am assuming the higher value. So I will give the value in gram per centimeter cube as 8.03. Next, I'll give the isotropic elasticity in terms of Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. So, the elastic modulus or Young's modulus is 190 to 210 gigapascal. I will assume the higher value that is 210. Poisson's ratio is given as 0.27 to 0.3. Again, I'm assuming the higher value. So, let's take here 210. E9 value of poisons ratio is 0.3. So this is the material. I will update my project now. Next I'll go to geometry and right click. I will import the geometry of the snap ring. Next I'll go to model and double click on it. I first allocate the material as carbon steel. Next, I'll go to mesh and change the sizing to fine and update. Next, I'll go to static structural. Now, this retaining ring will have this end as fixed. And since it is used to hold on the object. So this end is what I am going to subject to pressure. Say the internal pressure is 0.5 megapascal. You can also refer the video of structural analysis and thermal analysis that I have shown separately. There you will find the explanation for these values and also the application of this map ring. So you will understand better as to why I am giving these kind of boundary conditions. Next I'll go to solution and insert deformation total. I also want to see the strain generated over the body. The stress generated over the body. I'll go to solution and solve. You can first see the deformation which is developed over the body. You can animate and check the result. The maximum deformation generated is 5.0982 into 10 raised to minus 6 mm. This value is extremely small. And what you see as an animated version is actually a very larger than life animation. So it seems to be too large a deformation whereas it is not so. The minimum value of deformation is 0. Next, you can check the equivalent elastic strain over the body. The maximum value is 7.358 into 10 raised to minus 6, and the minimum value is 3.12 into 10 raised to minus 9. These values are again very, very small of strain, which means change in one direction is not affecting the change in the other direction. Or rather, I would say that the changes are very, very small. So, this snap ring is going to be really safe under this amount of pressure. 
Next, we will see the equivalent stress generated over the body. It is 1.545 megapascal. This is the highest value. And the low value of stress generated is 8.883 at a ratio minus 5 megapascal. So, one is the highest amount of stress and the least amount of stress is what we have obtained. The highest value itself is so small that your body is going to be absolutely safe when you use this type of a material for making of your snap ring. Now, there are various other materials which can be used. So, you can just change the material and run the same type of analysis so that you know what is the effect on this body. So, once the static structure part is done, I will go to steady state thermal. I will drag and drop the body over the first one. So, I will go to setup directly and double click on it. So, this imports what you have already done before. So, once you come here to initial temperature, it is 22. We will first go to analysis settings and we will insert temperature. As you are aware, this is the end where you will have the maximum temperature of the snap ring. The snap ring here can be subjected to a maximum temperature of 315 degrees Celsius. And on the other faces, I will insert convection as it is going to lose heat to the ambience. The film coefficient that you can apply is any value. I am giving a value of 0 0.032 watt per mm square degree Celsius. This is the value for air. So I am assuming that there is air cooling taking place for this snap ring. Next I will go to solution and I am going to insert thermal temperature. Also I will insert heat flux over the body. And I'll solve. Once you solve this, you will see that carbon steel contains invalid property data. This is an error. Now, the meaning of this error is when you have gone for engineering data of this material, you have not given a thermal property to this body. So, once you check here, that is also a property of isotropic thermal conductivity which needs to be added because you are doing a thermal analysis now. For the material of carbon steel, the value of isotropic thermal conductivity is 51.2 watt per meter degree Celsius. Just go to project and update project. You will see here these arrows slowly become green tick which means the error is now getting resolved in ANSYS. You can see here these tick have also become green. It will take some time because it has assumed the value of film coefficient and then calculated these values. You can see the error has disappeared. So when you get an error, please try to solve it rather than just avoiding it or trying to ignore it. It is better, it will help you understand the software better. So once you go to temperature, you can see the temperature profile over the snap ring. You can animate and see the variation of temperature over the snap ring. These are the values of temperature over the entire body. The highest value is 315 that we have given and the lowest value is 127.85 degrees Celsius. Now this value has been obtained owing to the film coefficient that you have given. If you increase the value of film coefficient, this lower temperature will further lower down, which means it will lose more heat to the ambience and these values will also reduce accordingly. Next we will see the total heat flux. The highest value is 24.324 watt per mm square. Minimum value is 3.9739 watt per mm square. You can animate and check this result. So that's how you do a combined analysis of static structural and thermal analysis for a snapping.
This basically helps you understand the effect of both on the body. This way of assuming both and solving is called as multiphysics. It means you can use the data of one analysis and take it to the other one and use it for analyzing. Also in this analysis you understood how to give the property to a material in case you have not associated in the first case. You have also learned how to not run away from an error that you have probably encountered and face it and also solve it rather than ignoring it. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.